Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Thank you so much for clicking on this video and welcome to August's wrap up. Y'all, yeah, August, August was a month, all right. August is probably the month that I have seen, no it is the month that I have seen the least amount of movies. It's only five, y'all. That's right, five. So the thing that happened was, let me tell y'all what happened, car trouble. That's what happened. But also in the month of August, like nothing really, really, truly came out that I truly wanted to watch. Like there was some things, yes, but a lot of them I'm just like, eh, it's okay, I can wait. Also, I did watch The Equalizer. I kept debating whether I wanted to do a video or not. I'm so lazy, y'all. <laughs> I'm so lazy. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to do like a quick TikTok and then I'm going to upload that here. Let's get on, okay? Uh, Rewatches first. It's only one because again, I didn't watch too much. I even re I've been watching a lot of just general television, y'all. That's really what I've been doing. Just TV. That's what I really want. I'm just like in a chill moment of Big Bang Theory. I'm rewatching Shit's Creek. Uh, what's it called? Only Murders in the Building. Friends. That's what I'm in the mood currently. The Thing. John Carpenter's The Thing. This was like my second or third time watching this. To be honest with you. I did, I do have a review, oh, I do have a review for that because I did have it, it was part of my 13 Nights of Fright, I think it was like the first year that I did it, if not the second. I'll put it up here if you want to hear my overall thoughts from when I first watched it. But I do have a review, part of the Halloween, which I will be having my 13 Nights of Fright. If you don't follow me on Instagram, check me out there uh, because I will be dropping whatever I'm going to be watching once I get to it. Y'all let me know if y'all would be interested in kind of... I don't know I'm debating because I don't know I'm telling y'all lazy <laughs> I just uh, the less editing I can do the more I could probably get on here because that's the thing y'all for this year for my 13 nights of fright I debating on doing kind of like a live watch along so y'all let me know if you're interested in something like that let's go back over here the thing my ADD is just all over the place right I know guys I no. It's okay. Let's get back on track. We always get back on track anyway, it goes. It's aged so well. I mean, it's 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 still scary. Like even like when I was watching this time, like I knew it was a part that like scared me because when I watched it the first time, I went, oh wait, hold on. Why did you scare me? Movie from like the '80s. I love this movie. It's a favorite of mine. It quickly jumped up there to a favorite of all time movie. It's a great horror movie. Age very well, love practical effects. We watched it with Desiree's dog Frank and he was going crazy when the dogs were dying up in there. It was so funny though. It's like, oh my God, he's being like traumatized or whatever. So then we have my best friend's exorcism. So this is another scary movie. Y'all look at me watching all these scary movies. Okay, so this one is set in the 80s and there is a book based off of this movie. And I do plan on reading that book hopefully in October. So a group of girls goes out, they sneak out trying to do teenage things. I don't remember fully what they were doing to be honest with you. And then they went to this other house that apparently somebody had died there or got possessed or something happened. They went over there boom walking in the middle of the night y'all. Why? They end up getting separated because the demon like separates them and one of them is she gets possessed. And then she's going through the whole possession deal. Um, it's very like corny but it's good. It's creepy. It has some little comedic factors to it. On Letterboxd it did get very very low ratings which was like one star to like I think two and a half stars is the highest that I've seen. So I was like okay if that's that low then I know that I can watch it because you know these horror people they're not about that life because it's a little bit too not scary for them or too whatever for them. But I was watching it while I was playing a game because yeah, I know I wasn't gonna be watching this in my room because because like I don't want all those creepy little vibes up in there. I get it why a lot of people don't like it because they are probably very much into horror but I I'm not one of those people. You know I really only watch the spooky movies the scary movies during Halloween and the movies that I even watch are kind of like this the non-scary movies that still have some kind of spooky factor to it if it has comedy in it it's even better for me but it still kind of scratches that itch of oh I want a spooky movie during the spooky season like this could be definitely a movie that I would rewatch during the Halloween season like I don't even know because I give it to, you know I'm gonna say it was a pretty feel good movie I mean I had a I had a really good time with it I I enjoyed it quite a bit you know that is a true best friend true best friend because it's like oh my god my best friend a demon's up in there I'm gonna get that demon out 
try to do an exorcism. The guy that they tried to do the ex It was a whole thing with the guy. It was so funny, y'all. Because let me tell y'all this. If my best friend was possessed by a demon, we would not be friends anymore. Because I would have been like, deuce. <laughs> you can have a demon. No. Uh, no. I'm sorry. I love you and I will miss you. But I'm not about to mess with the demon. Maybe I will call the church for you, though. And then I finally watched The Little Mermaid, y'all. Finally. This was supposed to be my birthday movie, y'all. Because it's birthdays in May. Came out birthday weekend. It is now August. And I'm barely watching it. Little Mermaid was, well, Little Mermaid is my favorite Disney princess. That's who I love. It's Little Mermaid. As far as Disney movies go, Little Mermaid, Peter Pan, and Bambi were my three, like, go-to movies. Not Lion King, not Beauty and the Beast. I didn't cry when Mufasa died also when I was little, just, like, FYI. First things first, I could care less that the girl's black. She could be black, yellow, green, purple, whatever. I don't really care. There were things about the movie that I did enjoy, but overall it just wasn't for me, okay? Things that I really liked. She did not sign her name, right? She basically made the pact with her shell with blood, which made more sense because that way people are not like, if she can write her name on the contract, then why couldn't she write her name for er Eric to know her name instead of going through all this? Like, okay, so no, we, we don't have that, okay? That was kind of neat. I like that change in it. Um, I do like getting more out of Eric's point of view. Obviously, it's like a longer length um, movie compared to the animated movie. I enjoyed how Eric and Ariel also got to know each other better here. I like using the farmer's market or the market to have Ariel experience so many human things all at once because a market like that is a perfect thing. To get so many things because obviously in a market if you've ever been to a market they're always like pushing things in front of you and everything so you're experiencing so many things at once so for somebody who's new to the human world i think that was a really smart move i like that the sisters had more to do in this movie compared to any animated one where we only see them at the beginning opening song which is not included in this one which is fine it's fine we didn't need it i didn't miss it but we didn't need it and also when they're in the dressing when the vanity the restroom i don't know and they're like oh daddy don't you see ariel's in love and then that's like the last night we see oh i guess at the end right at the wedding so I do like that we get more of them. They seem to have more of a power structure within the, the seven seas. And when Ariel went missing, it was the, the daughter that's like, we were searching everywhere, whatever, versus the little strip guy. Things I didn't like. The new songs, I didn't like them. I prefer for them to just like not have incorporated new songs. Um, obviously, it's very Lynn manuel Miranda. I just overall didn't feel like they worked for the movie. They're not memorable. I remember none of the songs. I didn't care less. I did not like that we didn't have the whole um, uh, Sebastian in the kitchen with the cooking. Oh, I love that scene when they're making the crabs. We didn't have that. And I really, really love that scene. <laughs> That's so fun and I would love that song. Again, instead of adding new songs, they should have kept that song and added that scene. I don't know exactly how it worked. Melissa McCarthy as Ursula. I liked how they introduced her to us, but like half the time it really looked like she was just kind of like... I feel like it could have gone a little smoother. Did she work sometimes? Sometimes she did, especially there at the end when she got big. I did not like it. I was like, oh, that's terrible. Oh, I liked how the ocean looked also. I thought the ocean looked beautiful. I'm not sure I just did a whole review for it. It was an okay movie y'all it was okay i didn't hate it i just didn't like it if you have jumped forward and you're here for what came out in august you are in the right place you're playing like, stephanie it was five movies i know i know but then i had a lot to talk about because only five movies <laughs> we're gonna go through these really quickly because i really don't have much to say so heart of stone i didn't know anything about the movie going in i knew gal Gadot was gonna be in it I had been hearing a lot of people talk a lot of mess about it and yeah, I know I don't really like to go into a movie that I've heard nothing but negative things about because I'm like I'm not gonna put myself through like a bad movie but then it's just like well is it really that bad? I knew really who the villain was because I feel like it was pretty obvious and I feel like it kind of had potential well did it have potential I don't know like at the end once everything kind of came of what the movie was I was just like why was this movie even made like why so we're just gonna say that you're, you tried then we go red white and royal blue i do have a review on this this is based off of a book which i had just recently finished right before the movie came out absolutely love the book it's so it's like so heartwarming i have a full review where i'm doing a comparison with the two so we're not gonna go into detail but i feel like they did a really good job with the adaptation. Of course, there are things that they left out, like they didn't focus too much, I feel, on the political deal in the movie, which the the politics are very important, obviously, because it's like we're dealing with like the first one of the United States and then what's it called? The Prince of of, um, of England. This rated R, which again, it's like, what? 
it. Yeah, I actually got it to be rated R because there's a lot of naughty things that happen in the book. It was still a really good movie. I thought it was a really feel good movie. I didn't like absolutely love it. But these are the five movies that I watched in the month of August. Let me know what you guys watched. Did we watch any of the same things? Did you watch any of the two movies that I watched? And what do you think where I placed them at? Uh, you probably have Heart of Stone in back. It's fine. Um, it's pretty much there. It really, it, it really should go there. Should I go ahead and put it there? I mean, it has some things. No, you know what? It was a bad movie. Let's move it down. Because <laughs> it was bad. <laughs> it was. I'm trying to be nice, y'all. I am trying to be nice. Okay, so this is it for me today. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like this video, comment, share, subscribe, all the other good stuff. But thank you guys so much for watching. Until next time, I'll see you guys at concessions. Bye.